now i request kota neelima garu uh, to present her uh, uh, view point as far as this core issue of today's uh, media communication uh, on climate change now i request uh, kota neelima garu please uh thank you dilip reddy ji so nice of you to invite me to such a wonderful discussion uh among such eminent panelists i am uh, in awe and uh, deeply honored to have heard the panelists now and also the ones to come absolute pleasure to listen to jayanta uh i'm so glad that uh, you were at the conference with your understanding and sensitivity i'm so glad that you have brought in these insights you know um you have you have done this all through your very illustrious career and i'm so glad that uh, india had a journalist like this to understand not just the message of uh, the conference but also the underlying politics only you could have only you could have seen that um wonderful insights from uma garu uh, absolutely agree about education of the media and i have some empirical ed- evidence to show um a pleasure also to listen to professor purushottam reddy garu that has uh, been my uh, plan forever to go and meet him uh, perhaps next time i am in hyderabad i shall do that and sudhakar garu and uh, rakesh garu very important on um space in print media equally a tough battle as much as it is on tv um fake news yes but i have a solution to that uh, because coming from a very smoky delhi i can say that the smoke in delhi is not just in the atmosphere it's also on information it's also on what is fact and what is not fact um so uh, there are ways of countering this and i'm very glad somebody is uh, doing this on specifically climate change dilip garu i wanted to just make a point and begin that the poor are yes. already the poor are already facing the brunt of the climate change it's the middle class the high class or the rich class the influential class which are still doubting it i think the poor the the, the farmer the labor the people who are dependent on the land on the water on the resources they are already uh, facing the brunt of the climate change and which is why uh, i want to talk about distress very briefly i don't want to um touch on all the great points which everyone else has done and uh, uh but before that i'd like to talk about the empirical evidence which i said i had um uh, the institute which i had the institute of perception studies we study television news especially at the prime time to see what kind of topics they cover how long do they cover them and over a period of let's say a month or two months so let me just give you an example of august 2021 we had our team had studied over 6 lakh seconds of footage of television news at the institute it this initiative is called rate the debate and this initiative studied over 6 lakh seconds of footage out of which most of it the majority about 80% of it was divided between what was happening in afghanistan remember this is august so there was a lot happening in afghanistan but a majority time was spent on that followed by pakistan and then followed by the you know politics to the ruling party and the opposition a mere 18% of the 6 lakh seconds of footage was spent on education health and environment that's the kind of focus that's the kind of space television news gives the reason why we do this research is because news both both print and television and especially television is not structured the unless we structure that we cannot make even these demands that so much time should be spent let's say on climate change or something else we have to have a structure so that reforms are possible so that's why we do that now what does that mean that that means fundamentally that when we say that people think climate change is elite when we say that climate change is not political that is because people are not uh, they are they're not given the choice to engage with climate change it is not just that the uh, the people themselves are not interested they are they are facing the they when there is property loss because of just one hour of rain in hyderabad i'm sure people are very deeply interested in understanding why is it happening and how can they stop it it's after all their earnings but 
there is no way that they they can access that information and i'm sure that it considering and and i i i never underestimate the intelligence of the audience even if extremely technical extremely political information is put out there i think people are capable of understanding it but the fact is that media houses both television as well as print must give the audience a chance to understand why is what what is happening and why is it happening and what can they do about it now i want to also uh, talk about distress which is what uh I, my underlying point was that when we talk about this communication why is there a gap it's a disservice to the citizen who is already suffering i mean it is not any more a matter of you know how do we sensitize them a lot of people are already suffering i want to talk about first rural distress farmer suicides and across the country and i have studied them since 2005 the 15 17 years there are only two major reasons for farmer suicides apart from other secondary reasons and the two main reasons are crop failure and debt and they both are connected to climate change they both are very deeply connected to climate change there are other reasons like the economic system we are in the transformations which have not happened the kind of investment which have not happened which are all secondary but also important reasons but the main fundamental reason for farmer suicides is crop failure and debt and both why why is crop failure because of drought and the and the floods and the debt is because of the increased use of the need for increased use of chemicals it's not out of choice a farmer has to grow a particular crop or use a particular amount of chemical because he or she has to feed their family so the solution would be to actually look at the policy make it more deliberative consult with the farmer before making rules but have we seen that happening look at the farm laws they are designed to forever change the life of rural india but have they been consulted and for the last one year they have been sitting outside delhi just a few uh, kilometers from uh, where the the most powerful people in this country live have they been called for consultation no when when agriculture when these issues are not i mean when when the when a country like this where 65% are farmers and they are not called for consultation what are we talking about climate change we do not deliberate in this nation deliberation happens on the fringe among people like us and we raise issues which actually very difficult to make it to the policy i think that's what the, that's the point which sudhakar ji was also making the second example i'd like to give is a uh, yes before uh, just a one more point on rural distress every resource is also gendered let me just give you an example of water water is gendered the drinking water is about women irrigation is about men and while irrigation is a distress drinking water is a daily distress for women as i i did a lot of research in maratwada in one district called bead there is absolutely villages after villages have dried up without drinking water and the and the burden of providing the drinking water to the family falls on the woman the climate change one of the one of the first recipients of the damage of climate change has been the rural woman i want to just come to uh, uh, the next point which is about the urban distress um this is something which anyone who lives in uh, hyderabad i think is very uh, aware of of the low lying areas getting flooded repeatedly and the lakes which are polluted which are full of garbage they are choked and therefore it's easy for them to get flooded now this is something which again one begs the question why are the more influential the more um, let's say the more expensive areas not prone to infrastructure failures like this now these are fault lines which have to be understood if we want to take the climate change debate further why is it that the poorest people supported of course by the very powerful but get affected the most because of flooding this is what i would like to say that climate change the fault line of climate change happens to be where the people uh, who are facing 
the brunt of it and who are now articulating or expressing their doubt that's where i think it it comes to um just wanted to conclude very briefly i know i have taken much less time but uh didn't want to repeat what others had uh, said i just want to make a small point that all right it is the responsibility of the media to communicate yes they have to be trained they have to have the data so that they can communicate yes the media houses have to give space for issues like environment none of this is going to happen easily and therefore i don't think it is the it is it is for us to keep waiting for the media to you know measure up there are ways to make sure that the we help this process forward and and in that i uh, what i do in hyderabad is exactly this the experiment with social journalism the experiment with uh, what we have is the hakku initiative and the hakku channel which is a youtube channel dedicated to campaigns like this because i think it's not also fair both to the audience as well as the media houses to keep waiting for them to change their economic model their funding model their understanding their in the meanwhile what do we do we put out fact checked accurate information out there which is not technical or which is at least not technically intimidating for the ordinary citizen to understand exactly what is happening i think this is possible if only if this is done in a non partisan way in a way that people do not believe even if those who have doubts believe that there is a point to what you are saying why do i say these two things is because as i said coming from uh, this place this city delhi we see a lot of information flow through a day in a in a given any given day and the only way one survives through that misinformation through the day um, without actually believing it is to doubt it so doubt is a very valuable thing and therefore but but again this is the whole point that misinformation doesn't get out there without funding without support so to imagine misinformation is a mistake is a mistake misinformation is as organized as anything else so with these major uh, points i think i have mostly covered the fault lines which i wanted to uh, highlight um, thank you once again for the opportunity to talk thank you thank you anilima garu you uh, raised uh, uh, exactly accurate points that media uh, in the beginning uh, how professor uh, prachotam reddy garu said there must be a paradigm shift even in media's approach uh, it, it is uh, moreover it is not a choice for them and it is not charity from them it is obligation and duty of the media to do that uh, by going to the root cause of the issue and explaining it properly and why this uh, adverse impact is again and again whatever the calamity whatever the problem whatever the epidemic how and why it is doing a lot of damage to those vulnerable sections only and 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 going and finding the root cause and and finding the solutions and disseminating such information into the public domain this should be the core issue of that and and one more issue you raised that consultation that is unfortunate thing you mentioned the farming loss not only farming loss you will be surprised what the topic we are talking climate change the the the, the three four announcement which has been made by none other than uh, executive top of the country on the floor on the floor of uh, glass coast was the news for the entire 130 crores of people this should not happen there are intellectuals there are stakeholders there are the people who are concerned with and connected with and affected with the such all people and representatives would have been discussed before making that a policy thank you you raised a good and important aspects and uh, we are very much thankful from our earth center by the by cgr uh, thank you once again now i request <coughs> don't